five weeks old and it was so hard for me to take this beautiful design off. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I achieved this tortoise shell French design. Really simple, easy to do. I'll show you guys what you need to accomplish this look. I've gotten several requests on doing tortoise shell. And yeah, um, this is my client's previous set and there is a video for this set. Definitely check it out. Like I said, these are five weeks old and oh man, I had to sit there for like 60 seconds and I don't want to take these off. <laughs> they were still so beautiful, still so blinky, so eye-catching. They were fantastic. Um, so I just want to show you guys a little clip of me taking them off. Um, just because people have questions, I generally try to clip what I can with like a nipper. These are old nippers. I use them to take my crystals off. I used to have this other tool my mother got me a long time ago, but... When I relocated, I can't find them no more. They were like a garden. They were probably, it sounds barbaric, but they were like garden wired cut. I don't know. Yeah, I'm just guessing. But I'm trying to clip off what I can um, just to kind of reduce how much I'll have to take off with the bit just because so many layers of acrylic and acrylic is harder to file, albeit hand file or electric file. It's just more difficult, so I try to clip off what I can, and I clipped off what um, of those crystals and beads I could, and anything more, um, I just decided I would file off, and with the crystals, I do the same thing. I always put my thumb, you see, towards the cuticle area, so if for some reason the nippers slip, I would stab myself before I would stab my client, and I just can't. I'm never trying to hurt anybody um especially draw blood i'm never trying to do that so just i don't show a lot of clips of me removing crystals but just so you guys can see like i said they're old nippers they're a little more dull anyways and they get duller and duller every time duller is not a word i don't think um more dull seems like the more appropriate thing <laughs> but i'm using um the i believe this is the Speedy Mint from Light Elegance. I believe that's what it is. And I'm sorry I'm not all the way in, can't f in focus in the camera. This is the best clip I had. I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of, like I said, the removal process. And those um, crystals, I don't like to file off crystals with my e-file. I do my best to remove those with a nipper. And what I can't get off with a nipper, I usually take like a thinner e-file bit like a pointy one and kind of burrow um that'd be the best word burrow yeah next to like create a little canal next to the crystal that way I can kind of get up under them and still nip them off um yeah I don't like to do it with the e-file not my preference some people do but I don't know how I feel about filed off whatever's in crystals and beads and stuff being in the air but i don't know it's probably not any worse than acrylic and gel but you know whatever <laughs> um and then it's do it messes up your bit i mean you could do it with an older bit and i have plenty of older bits i just don't prefer to guys um so i am going around and i'm actually doing not what i told you guys and i don't ever do this but um, I guess because I already had this bit on here, I'm kind of filing next to the um, crystals and then the beads. I was like, ah, they'll come off. And I touched them real quick. So I just reneged on everything I said, essentially, that I don't do. <laughs> so I filled the nails. I filed them down, did prep work, filled them, filed them, shaped them, and I'm here. Um, and I'm sorry I left all that out, but I was trying to get going here um so don't be mad at me don't thumbs down me or nothing we're getting into the design and i am using um this polish is a sheer color um it's from the gel bottle ink and it's creme is the color and she already had her 
essentially what her base gel is is kind of young nails cover peach um concealer peach they're the synergy gel it's hard gel it's not acrylic and then um i'm applying a thin layer of this on top and i went ahead and cured that and i'm using peach bellini from daily charm old-fashioned from daily charm and these um and i'm using perfect black this is from madam glam but daily charm does have a just a regular black gel polish it's an opaque black so if you're gonna be picking these up you might as well pick that up while you're there and plus use discount code tabitha with the number 10 for your discount at daily charm um so i am using a liner brush and i'm drawing my french my client asked for a french that wasn't as deep because i'll make them deep and this is a little bit but I, uh, yeah, yeah, you know, it's not so deep. I would have made it much deeper and more, you know, yeah, I didn't. So, <laughs> so I'm just drawing with that peach Bellini, that sheer orange color. And um, if I didn't mention, yeah, the peach Bellini is a sheer kind of burntish orange color. And the old fashioned is like a dark brown root beer type color. Um, and so I'm just drawing a French on, just however you like. And these same principles, you can use them however. You can do the full nail like this. Um, you'll get a different look, I will tell you, is if you're using this over a clear nail, it'll probably honestly look a little better. Um, you'll be able to differentiate, differentiate the brown from the black a little bit more. Um, but I just want to go back and tell you about the nail bed color. I polished that on first. Um, it was more of the tone that she wanted. Um, and like I said, I was using the concealer peach synergy gel. And um, then it was kind of the most similar thing. I wanted to build the nail with something similar, but she really liked this nail bed color. I'm showing you guys how I'm lining the nails up to kind of ensure I get the fringes as close as possible um, with each other. But anyway, so I applied the nail bed color, but I didn't apply it to the free edge as you can see the shiny part is the only place i applied it and that's because i didn't want to bulk up my free edge i didn't want to lose my shape or as much as i could help it i didn't want to lose my shape so um i went ahead and polished what i knew for sure was going to need to be you know the nail bed color went a little bit beyond and kind of faded it out i kind of dry brushed it out so it isn't really bulky and we don't get such a harsh line of demarcation on where i ended it you could even use like your finger or a brush to even fade it out more depending on what you're doing because this look um if you were using like a glitter or something that a very busy pattern or something like this even if you had a slight line of demarcation you couldn't really tell it probably add to the character and texture of the design but you know that's just letting you know a little fix for that so that i just want to explain to you the purpose of me only polishing that color where i did is just so i don't lose my shape and don't bulk it up much more because we are going to get a little bulk down there um, with doing this design so i didn't want to add any more so i'm just drawing these these frenches on first and foremost getting them to look as similar as possible and then um you're going to be using blooming gel i just had a sample one but the daily charm one is great again code tap the 10 or you can click the link in the description bar and you can shop through that link um yeah if you'd like and i'd still get my little credits even if they had a better sale i'd still get my little my little tokens and so i'm applying that blooming gel exactly where i applied the french app and you're going to want to leave it wet the blooming gel if you haven't experienced i'm sure you've seen it it's not a totally new idea concept or product um it basically blooms the polish out and makes it kind of disperse out and feather out i don't can't think of the best word the best adjective right now but yeah if you put like a drop in it, it kind of just fades out like a drop of water in the ocean you know <laughs> and so i'm applying it on two nails at a time 
just so they have time because it does take a second for when you drop the color for it to kind of disperse out. So I want to do two at a time so I can work back and forth and get that dispersion between the colors. So I'm just dropping. I know it's kind of out of focus and I'm sorry. We'll have a few more clips. I'm dropping that old fashioned color, that brown, that sheer brown color. I'm dropping that off first, off first, like it's going to school. I'm dropping that first and I want to do it haphazardly. I want to make sure I get it in the sides like I'm showing you along the French line. Um, we want it to look irregular. And as always, I recommend that you pull up a picture of what you're trying to mimic on Google Photos, Instagram or something like that of the actual thing. Not somebody else trying to imitate tortoise shell nails. Look up like a tortoise shell actual pattern or whatever you're you so happen to be doing look at the actual thing and study what makes it it and try to replicate those characteristics and that's going to give you the best look always um so i'm just repeating this process i'm applying the blooming gel i'm not curing it and leaving it wet and then i'm dropping in that brown haphazardly in certain strategic haphazardly in strategic places kind of our opposites right but I mean, it's strategically haphazard. We'll go with that. <laughs> and so I'm leaving that wet, dropping that brown down um, so it can go ahead and disperse out. And when it disperses, it kind of lightens up in opacity as well. I mean, that's kind of the point of the blooming polish. So you get those lighter brown, that lighter brown towards the edge. And um, then while it's still wet, um, I will drop that opaque black. And again, I'm using Madame Glam's Perfect Black. It's not a necessity. You can use whatever gel one you have currently. It should work just fine. Or like I said, um, Daily Charm has just an opaque solid black. I think theirs is called Perfect Black too, but I may be wrong. But they have a straight black gel polish. So, you know, if while you're there, you want all the things to get this popping, you can get all three. So, um, they have more sheer polishes for different looks, but yeah. So while it's still wet, all of it's still wet, I go ahead and drop that black in the center of my brown dots. And I kind of want to mimic the shape of the brown. So it's not just one, just bloop dot. I'm kind of, if it's oblong or an oval shape, I want to mimic that. If it's, you know, wider shape, I just kind of, I want to make it smaller, but like I said, mimic the shape of whatever brown I drop. Then an important part to me once you cure is to go back over with that peach bellini, that kind of burnt orange color. And then what I like to do is apply it kind of thicker in some areas and thinner in others. That way you get some opacity, some stronger orange tones in some areas and then some like more lighter. Um, it kind of looks... I, I, I don't know how to describe the color. Not camel-y in color. I don't know. It looks more camel -y tan type colored in some areas. suede I guess. And then in some areas, when you bulk up that orange, it looks more like that. It looks more of like a burnt orange color. So you're kind of with one color bringing in even more texture and, um, you know, kind of making it look more authentic to what tortoise shell would look like which newsflash isn't actual turtle shells <laughs> so i'm just repeating this process just over again so you, you know, in case you missed it and you don't like to rewind some of y'all don't like to rewind i ain't saying any names but no, i don't know any names but you know <laughs> Some of y'all like to rewind. So I'm, here it is again. And, you know, I kind of feel bad that I didn't get any prep or application of me building the nails. So this is me making up for it. Get a lot of good examples. So I'm just applying that blooming gel and then dropping that brown, that old fashioned, that sheer brown on there. And again, kind of randomly intentional. You don't want it to look patterned. You want big pieces, you know, in certain on the left side of the nail, big piece on the bottom right, little pieces through the center, and then you do the next nail completely different. You know, you don't want the nails to look the same. You don't want them to look intentional. And sometimes to not look intentional 
you need to intentionally be random. Again, it doesn't make sense, but it does. And I don't show a clip again, but for all of them, I do. Once I cure this, um, after I drop this black, I cure it. And then I go back in with that sheer orange, like I said, and I kind of add more pigment in some areas, leave it more sheer in some areas, just to add, again, more depth and character to the nail. Um, so after this, what I did, I didn't show it on camera. After I cured it, I went in with my file, a uh, finer grit side, and I kind of lightly filed it just to kind of regain my shape. I made sure I didn't file off any of the design, but I had to get some cleanliness to the to the shape. And once I did that, I used the Light Elegance nail glue, just a dot, and I applied a little, I think this is a size five or seven, and it is silk shimmer crystal, I believe. Just a little, just a little additive, you know, just nothing wrong with that. And just, we could, I mean, she had the, you've seen the scent she had, and she kind of almost thought about, I think, of not getting no bling, but you, you have to. And I thought about doing like a stud that wasn't blinky, but you just, you gotta have a little, right? Just a little bit, just a little something, just a little accent. And, um, you know, I think it kind of brings it together and it's a little more character, but overall it's a real nice chic look. So I applied that crystal and then I'm top coating with a no wipe top coat. I'm actually using the Magic Gel Hyper Shine top coat. I cured that in the light. And this is our final Look, you guys, um, a little French tortoise shell nail. And like I said, this will kind of look different. It might translate better if you had like a clear tip and it wasn't over the nude. So if you try this out, go ahead and tag me. I mean, I didn't invent tortoise shell nails by any means. But I mean, you know, tag me. Why not? So I'll put a little turtle down below, a little turtle emoji. You know, that's our exchange. I give you content you can watch for free. And you drop me an emoji. That's it. But don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe either. All right, you guys. Bye.